Let's say I have a data of pizza sales by store and date. So I have Domino's, Pizza Hut, Oven Suri, US Pizza sales data and the number of pizzas and garlic breads they sell per day. Now I want to pivot this data and get a sales report like this. So for each month, how much number of pizzas Domino's sold, how many number of garlic breads Domino's sold and so on and so forth. How do we do this in BigQuery? So I come to BigQuery, I have, I have the pizza sales data loaded into a table which you can see here. Now we wanted to pivot and get the report by month. So we have the date column here and we, we want to convert the date into month hyphen year format. So let us first do that before we enter into pivot. So for doing that we can use the format date function format date which takes format string as the first argument and the date as a second argument and I will also take the store and pizzas. Now this returns me January 2022 and the store name and the number of pizzas which was sold for that month or for that day. So I can give an alias for this say as month. Now we can use the pivot operator for pivoting this query result into a monthly format like this. So first let us look at the syntax for the pivot operator. So the pivot operator you will give after the from statement in the query and the pivot function has three parts. One is the aggregate function, the input column and the pivot column. So we, we will see an example of how to do the same with BigQuery. So, so we will be selecting the data from the query output which is this one which we have here and we will say pivot and first is the aggregate function so we want the sum of pizzas by month and the second is the input column so for input column we will be using the month column so month in say September 2022. Now if I run this query it gives an error saying that September 2022 is invalid because the field must contain only letters numbers and underscore. So what will happen with pivot is this September 22 will become a column header like what you see here right. So this is a column header so in this case September 22 will be a column header but since a column name cannot have a hyphen character in between it is complaining. So one simple fix which we can do is we can change this to underscore which means we have to also change the format date here. Now if I run this you, you will see that it has pivoted the data and we are getting the, the sum of pizza sales for Domino's, pizza, US Pizza, Pizza Hut and Owen Story for the month of September. Now let us also include the garlic bread sales into the pivot. So I will select the garlic bread column and I will give the aggregation for garlic bread sales here. Now if I run this, it will give an error saying that the pivot expression must specify an alias unless it is the only pivot expression in the pivot clause. So here we are having two columns for pivot. So if you are having more than one column for pivot, you have to give an alias for the column. So let us give an alias here and see. So I will change this as pizzas 
and this alias is garlic breads now let us see how it works so you can see that it returned the correct output and the column name if you see it it would have concatenated this alias name pizzas with the input column name which is september 2022 this one will be garlic bread underscore september 2022 now if you want to include august month we can include august and july like this and run the query it would give you a pivot for the four pizza stores across september august and july for the pizza sales and the garlic bread sales now there is an alternate way by which we can use the hyphen itself instead of underscore so let me change this back to hyphens instead of underscore and what we can do is we can give an alias for each of these individual input values so this one i will call it as september and this one say i will call it as august and let's say i call this as july now if i run this this should work so now you can see the column name changed to pizzas underscore sept pizzas underscore op pizzas underscore jul now it will be good if you can avoid this hard coding of the month names and make this query a little bit more dynamic so for that we can declare three variables say m1 string m2 string and m3 string we will set the variable values m1 equal to september 2022 the same way i can set m2 and m3 to august and july and then we can come here and change the query as m1 as month 1 m2 as month 2 m3 as month 3 now if i run this it would again do the pivot and give us the output for month 1 2 3 which is september august and july now we can easily change this to more dynamic logic where we can take the current date and do minus 1 minus 1 and get the previous two months and do the pivot operation